Greetings friends, welcome. Today we're looking at adding push notifications to a Gatsby static website. The uh, example I'm going to use here is using this credit card wizard site. Uh, if we scroll up in here, we can just it's just for comparing uh, credit cards. So what we're going to do is add a button in here in the receive alert section that will enable and subscribe you to push notifications. Uh, the idea being that you would get notified when um, a new card is available or there's a change in a rate. Um, so a good uh, use case for push notifications. Uh, and also being a button, it's not going to be an unsolicited uh, request. It's not going to pop up that dialogue allow block for push notifications without the user initiating it because that's a no-no with push notifications. Um, so yeah, we'll add the button in here and then I'll show you what we need to do within Gatsby to manage that. Basically, we're gonna need to have a service worker. We're gonna need some custom code to handle the push request. Um, and yeah, how are we gonna do that? So let's dive in. Uh, let's add this button to start with. So I want it in here on the website just below receive alerts. Um, so if I add a button here and we'll say enable notifications on the click of that and we'll call put some text on it enable notifications right if I save that one off I think we're running um, uh, I've got a little bit of code lying around I think have I maybe it just wants that created so let's create that function um, enable notifications so enable notifications right in here we're gonna make it an async function and in here, we will need to um, subscribe to the push manager, and that is uh, retrieved from the service worker. So we need to get hold of our service worker. We'll show you how to create the service worker uh, with the plugin in a minute, but let's do service worker equals await. Uh, so it's navigator dot service worker dot ready. So that doesn't create a service worker, that just gets hold of our existing one. Um, and then our push manager is going to be from the service worker, um, service worker dot push manager dot subscribe. And we'll need to add some parameters into that. We'll, we'll come back to that. Um, so this is just going to be our result, actually. Oops. Um, so I'll just console log that out when we get it like so and if we save that now um, is it still giving us an error no it looks good now okay so there's our button uh, enable notifications and that looks good right how do we create um, a service worker in a Gatsby website. Well, we can use um, a plugin, the Gatsby offline plugin. Um, so let's do a search for that. Um, Gatsby offline plugin. And what we will need to do is run this install. Now I've already got it on there, um, so that's fine, but you need to NPM install it. And then if we scroll down, it gives us a few options, but we need one, um, that allows us to add some custom code to it as well because that's where we're going to put our push handler in so if I just grab this here um, and come back and go into our gatsby.config and we can paste that one in there um, then it likes to have the path like that uh, then we can just create this file and we'll be able to put our custom code in there. Uh, so where does that go? It goes in the top of it. It goes in our source folder. So if I create a new file in here and give it that name, 
then in here we'll be able to add our push code. Um, so uh, you know, let's 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 do that. Let's do that now. Um, so in here we can do self dot add event listener, and we're going to be listening for a push event. And when we get that event, we can add our handler uh, in here. And what do we need to do? We need to show that notification, and we can do that by um, self dot registration registration and show notification. And we can put in there literally um, my Gatsby notification and you would also be able to provide some options in there but we'll just leave that blank for now um, so in terms of how this notification comes up you know what icon it's got how it's formatted you can play around with this a lot but we're just gonna get the basic um, framework for that working here so we'll leave that like like so so that's that's our custom code that we need to add as part of our service worker um, so that goes in this file here in the root of source uh, and it's referenced by the Gatsby plugin offline which is creating our service worker automatically for us all right now when we call our subscribe here we need to pass a couple of um, parameters here the first one is user visible only and we need to set that to true uh, so that's just a, something you always got to do um, just boilerplate code it's just got to be enabled able complain and, and tell you to add that otherwise and then we need to have a um, an application server key now this is going to be our public key. Now, when when we do uh, web push, we create a public and private key, um, and we'll create that now using another package. Um, and that that public key comes down in your client, and and you keep hold of the private key on your server. Right. Let's uh, let's create one of those. So, the way to go about this is, let's close this for now. go back up in here so let's do create key like so and then we do an npm install web push then this package uh, will allow us to create these keys Um, so the best way for us to do this is to look that up. So we look up npm web push. We can just grab the code from there. Uh, so we're uh, we're not, we're not going to send it using this at the moment. We're just going to use the client side stuff again. You can uh, refer to that video I mentioned earlier. Um, so we just need to grab this, um, pull in web push, and then generate keys. So we'll create a new file in here, key gen, and paste that in. And so we'll have Vapi keys. We just want to get hold of that. So we'll do a console.log there. And then if we run this, so what is it? Key gen.js. Then here is our public key. Um, so even for this demo, we've got to put an actual public key in because it checks the format of it, uh, and it wouldn't it would complain again. Right. So let's go back in here, and for our application key, we can paste that in, like so. And that means I can get rid of keygen. We no longer need that. Get rid of that there then. All right, so we've got a button on our page. It calls enable notifications. That gets hold of our service worker, which has been created by the Gatsby offline plugin. We get hold of the push manager from our service worker and we call subscribe. That um, gives us permission, gives the, um, the server permission to send to us. 
um, and this would then the result of this would get stored away in your database and then whenever you want to push uh, information out you look for that and send whatever information you've got uh, and that should come up for us so let's see if we can test this now we need to do an actual um, an actual build here because the service worker will only get created for um, where am I? I'm in the wrong one Gatsby build um, the service worker only gets registered on a production build so when we were running it in Gatsby develop it's not creating it for us we've got to do a build uh, and then serve it I might speed this bit up it takes a few seconds Looks good. All right, so now we're on port 9000. Um, let's move over there. All right, so we've still got our button. So let's bring up the dev tools and clear that out. Yeah, I'll put it on the bottom. Okay, add errors, that's fine. All right, so if we scroll down to our button now when I click this we'll see what problems we've got uh, okay okay so because I've run a test of this before it's already subscribed so let's try and let's try and clear that out so I can go into the service workers under application and unregister the one I've got um, and clear the whole of the site data now if we come back into console and click enable notifications again oh no active server okay because i need to refresh it i think yes yeah, so if i go into application so it's still because i cleared it it's not there so now when i refresh the page we should get our service worker okay so it's there yep our new one's there come back into console and then click enable again all right now this time it's putting out the console.log result of our subscribe um, and this is the information that you'd want to store away in your web api um, so that's accepted it and we can test it now uh, if i come into application and scroll down here we can see the push test here so if i click this button it'll it'll send a push to this website and we'll handle that in our custom code so back in custom code here this um, event listener where we're listening for push in our service worker we'll get the push event and then we'll show a notification here using that line there all being well so let's give that a go okay and then down here okay it's behind me uh, yeah I'll do it again uh, but we can sit it's behind the mic there we go it's down there um, let me close it off and do a push uh, there it is um, you can read some of it my Gatsby notification I think you get the idea um, so yeah that shows us um, on the client side in a Gatsby application how to get push notifications up and running hope that was interesting give me a thumbs up if you liked it sometimes if not um, feel free to click that subscribe button below and change the alert icon to all notifications and you'll get uh, updates when a new video comes out uh, catch you next time thanks bye